today's video is going to be a little back to school makeup tutorial and as you can see I kind of went a little bit overboard and I put some fake eyelashes but of course you can always add on more makeup or you know put less makeup on it's just preference I just want to let you guys know that you do not need to wear makeup for back to school I personally don't because I know I'm lazy but if you want to that's totally fine just know that makeup should make you feel prettier and not pretty because you're already pretty bitch I did want to make this little tutorial affordable and just you know use all drugstore products so I know if I'm gonna be using makeup every day for school I don't want to splurge on makeup every single time I want to use it because the more you use it the more you're gonna run out and it can really add up so I'm gonna show you guys really good and expensive products you can use for everyday use I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn on your post notification bell to be notified when I post a video follow me on Instagram it's going to be right here a lot of people don't know I have Instagram just because I don't always plug it in I always leave it in the description box though but anyways enjoy this video and keep on watching okay y'all so the first step is to wash your motherfucking face and you probably already do this every morning and if you don't what are you doing you nasty bitch no i'm just kidding i don't judge but you should be washing your face every day i do have a skincare routine linked down below and i recently just ran out of the face wash i normally use but i just washed my face with this freeman face wash right now i really like this and it's all i've been using lately because i ran out of my expensive one and what's not expensive it's eight dollars but eight dollars is kind of like well this one is just three this one is a scrub so i kind of feel upset using it every single morning just because it can be a little bit harsh on your skin if you keep scrubbing your face every day but i just feel nasty now washing my face every day so i need to use this so vip my skin but at least it's fresh on top of that i just put the cocoa butter um lotion but before we get into this video y'all this is my second time refilming this video and let me just say that if this shit don't come out right y'all not seeing this video period so if y'all watching this video right now God was on my side and he made this video came out good because the first video was just not it. What the fuck? Where is there? Oh. So the first step is to use primer. If you would have seen my last get ready with me, you would have saw that I said I don't use primer. But then somebody in the comments was like, you do primer that's like leaving the house without brushing your teeth and i was just kind of like i've been using primer ever since then and let me just say it does make a difference i have two primers that i could recommend to you guys these are both drugstore i have the baby skin by maybelline and the wet and wild dewy luminix i thought this one break me out just because last time i used it i broke out really bad but i think it was just a coincidence because i've been using it lately and i haven't broken out so i also really like this one because it does the job and it kind of gives you that glowy like it's supposed to but i'm gonna use this one just because i already put a whole bunch of fucking highlighter so i really don't need a primer that's going to you know give me that glowy skin and i know my face gets really red when i touch it i have really sensitive skin like honestly i could just touch it and i'm off of be red so but i'm just gonna move on to concealer i love the fit me concealer yo this is like my fucking favorite concealer ever this one is in the color light ledger it's number 10 whatever but i really like this concealer just because it does the job and we all know we all broke our sleeping schedules during the summer so we need something to hide them under circles baby because these under eye circles are not it you really don't want to use a really high coverage concealer just because you're probably going to be sweating and you're probably going to have pe and stuff like that and you don't want to look like okay oh, i wouldn't recommend to use high-end products like every fucking single day for school because you're probably gonna be wasting a lot you don't want it to add up and you know break your bank just to buy makeup i mean if you have the coin go ahead sis like you buy that expensive shit to set the concealer and stuff i'm gonna just use the wet wild contour and palette contour i really like the um air spun too but i do film and take pictures so the air spun gives really bad flashback but if you know you don't have to worry about flashback or taking pictures then the air spun is really good and i'm filming today and taking pictures i don't really feel comfortable using it just because i don't want to be a flashback mary you know what i'm saying this is my favorite pattern not only because it doesn't give you flashback but also because it's also not loose powder so you can take it to school and i have to worry about you know it being messy and stuff like that i don't know why but i feel like my skin is really dry right now and i moisturize and everything so i'm going to move on into my eyebrows now everybody always asks me why i don't do my eyebrows and i get ready with me and that's because i don't know how to like that's the tea that's that's why i don't know how to do my eyebrows i did went to walmart yesterday to purchase an eyebrow pencil this was just an elf one it was only two dollars and i really liked it and i tried to do my eyebrows with it the first time i did this video Ooh. 
But honestly, my eyebrows are just too worn out to the point where eyebrow pencil is just not cutting it. This is actually really good and I really like it. As you can see, I have been using it, but it's just really dry right now because I left it open. I need to put eye drops on it and my dad gets mad every time I ask him to put eye drops on it. So I'm just going to use my Anastasia one. But if you're going for the natural look, you should use an eyebrow pencil. But there is an expensive pomade like this one that actually works really good. But since my eyebrows are grown out and I haven't done them, I have to use the pomade. This is the only way my eyebrows are going to look good right now. <laughs> I honestly wish I knew how to do my eyebrows just because I do feel like it pulls the look together and just makes you look more awake and just, you know, not so dead. This is so humiliating! But anyways, as you can see, I did do my eyebrows. They don't look that good at all, to be honest, but I'm trying to keep this natural, and my eyebrows are just so bushy right now. I haven't done them because my birthday is in like two weeks, and there's no point in me getting my eyebrows done when I'm going to have to get them done again, so I'm just going to wait. But I'm just curving out my eyebrows right now with the Fit Me Concealer and the Wet n Wild brush. A lot of people ask me if my parents let me wear makeup since they are really strict, and yes, they do, but they used to like never buy me makeup, so I would have to use my mom's. So I didn't really get the chance to like actually learn, but now that I have my own, I don't take advantage and don't practice as much as I should. I know a lot of YouTubers are doing like back to school videos already, but I don't go back to school till fucking September. So it's gonna take me a while to do like back to school shopping videos and like hauls and stuff like that. But that will be coming because I know a lot of people have been asking me. I'm just gonna set this with the e.l.f. Um, eyebrow setter. I don't know what it is called. What is it called when you set your eyebrows? Huh? Brow gel. I'm just gonna put eyebrow gel on my eyebrows because, you know, if you're going to school and want your shit to stay in place. Honestly, the eyebrow gel works really great for only being $2. And as you can see, my hairs are pretty long since I don't have my eyebrows done. If you're looking for an expensive eyebrow gel, I would really recommend that. But, these gotta be nice to my things. This bitch really just opened the door. She's trying to be independent and shit. Bitch, no. She gonna be thinking she can run away and shit. If you've been here a while, you know in all my get ready with me's, I use the Anastasia Beverly Kit palette, but this dumb motherfucker don't know how to open the door. Don't come back. But since this is a little affordable makeup tutorial for back to school, I'm using the Wet Wild Highlighting Powder. This is honestly so good, but you don't want to use a lot, and I'm using a lot right now. Just because it is kind of like rose goldy, and it can make you look a little bit pink, so you don't want that. Because who's not going, bitch? Oh, I don't have any highlighter on that one. And I will be putting the... Mario Bedinsky on it. Ooh. But you guys, my fucking cat, the one that couldn't open the door right now, he fucking ate frijoles yesterday. Cats can't digest beans, so he threw it up, and now he just been throwing up constantly. Well, not constantly. That's an overstatement. We did call the fucking vet, and they said that he should be fine, and that just to keep an eye on him, but if he throws up today, we should take him to the vet. I've been trying not to let it, like, you know, consume me alive. But it low-key has a little bit. Honestly, I don't even know how to feel about life right now. Just because so many good things and bad things have been happening all at once. Like, the good thing is just basically having you guys and having my YouTube channel grow so fast. And just, you know, having so many people support me. I really don't want to get sappy in here because this is just a back-to-school makeup tutorial. And I don't want to say too much. But having you guys just has been keeping me so happy. And just, you know, has given me a purpose. But there has been also been a lot of bad things. Like, for example, my cat. And then it worries me because my brother fucking fractured his back and it's just like he just started working and now he has a broken back basically and then yesterday my video wasn't saving and it just kind of was so frustrating there has been so many good things happening in my life that i just cannot forget about them i'm going to do mascara now but i'm just curling my eyelashes first and let me just tell you that if you don't curl your eyelashes you have been doing mascara wrong the whole time i really hate when people are like 
Oh, my eyelashes are really thin and like they're so short and my mascara doesn't do shit for them. So I'm like, do you curl your eyelashes? And they're like, like no. So I'm just like, there you go. That's why. Everybody always asks me what mascara I use and I just use a telescopic mascara by L'Oreal. I normally put a lot, a lot when I go back to school because that's all I wear. And it makes my eyelashes really long and just really pretty. But I'm going to show you guys how you guys could spice up this natural look with a natural eyelash. Just because I know some girls out there do want to start wearing fake eyelashes. And honestly, finding an inexpensive good natural eyelash can be really helpful for those who don't naturally have long lashes. Everybody has been asking me where I get my eyelashes from now that I started wearing eyelashes. And let me just say that I'm sorry to bring it to you guys. But I get my eyelashes for very cheap, like $2. But it's a local owned business. So it's not like Target or like Walmart. It's like a business somebody put up in Chicago. So if you live in Chicago, I could send you the address. For example, these were only $2, and as you can see, they're not pretty full or anything, so they're gonna look pretty natural, but they're still gonna spice up your look. This is just another example. These were sent to me by a hair company. They just kind of added this in. These are a little bit more dramatic, kind of, but again, they're not very full. Like, these are pretty full, and like, I could show you more, but you get the idea. Realistically, you probably wouldn't wear fake eyelashes every single day, but for those days where you just wanna amp up your look a little bit and just, you know, make your natural makeup look even better, Better. I am using the Kiss eyelash glue. This one is black, so it kind of just gives you that black line or whatever, so you don't have like the white glue all over your. Oop. Now these were not as natural as I thought. They are pretty freaking long, and as you can see, I got eyelash glue on my eye, but I'm gonna fix it up in a little bit. I actually really like them. I just didn't expect them to be this dramatic i really thought they would be a little bit more natural for this video just a little tip for you guys if you guys have eyelash glue on your eyelid or mascara just you know grab a q-tip and dip it in some makeup remover or some water and it will come right off so that's what i do every single time so this is how the eyelashes look i am using the eyelashes the company sent to me with the hair so i don't think they sell just eyelashes if they do i will link them in the description box or just you know let you guys know that they don't sell just eyelashes okay y'all so as you can see the eyelashes kind of ruined this look it's not so natural anymore when i first did this video i just put mascara and it looked way more natural so i'm gonna insert a picture of that but i'm an extra ass bitch so i actually really like the eyelashes i just think they're not for this video Bro, I regret putting eyelashes because I know people are going to be like, This is not natural. This is not natural. Whatever, bitch. You could just wear mascara. So the last step would be to put lip gloss on. I actually have a, quite a few lip glosses that I really like. A lot of you guys ask me what lip glosses I use. And these two are my main ones. They're a dollar at the beauty supply. So honestly, get you some. You guys are sleeping on fucking dollar stores and beauty supplies, bro. Like, these are a little bit sticky. So if you don't like sticky lip glosses, these might not be for you. But that's it for this makeup tutorial, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing me ramble even though this is just a back to school video. I love you guys and I will catch you in my next video.